Hey guys and welcome to my channel! Today I want to show you how to make applesauce cake with homemade caramel sauce, which even a beginner can do. This delicate and fragrant cake is a great recipe to have for your fall baking. You can bake it in a bun pan like I did or you can bake it in two round layer pans and frost it with buttercream or Italian meringue. You can even make it in a rectangle cake pan and serve it as an individual cakes. We will start by making mouth water and salty caramel, which we will use for our cake batter and for decorating the cake. To make the caramel, we'll need sugar, water, heavy whipping cream, softened butter and sea salt. In a heavy bottom saucepan, combine the sugar and water. Wait until the water covers all the sugar, then give it a stir and help the sugar spread evenly on the bottom of the pan. Next, turn the heat to medium and cook until the sugar dissolves and you see clear syrup. It is very important to not touch the sugar syrup during the cooking process to prevent sugar from crystallizing on the sides of the pan. Keep cooking and do not leave the caramel side. When the syrup starts changing color, bring the heavy whipping cream to a boil using a microwave for about a minute or by using another saucepan. We want to minimize temperature difference between the heavy cream and the sugar syrup. Once the caramel has gotten a golden color, remove the saucepan from the heat, add the softened butter and give it a stir. Then keep stirring the mixture, slowly add the hot heavy cream. Be very careful because the caramel mixture will bubble and rise up. Continue stirring until the caramel settles down and add the sea salt. Salt will help balance the sweetness of the caramel. Keep mixing the mixture until it looks very thin and runny. Pour the caramel sauce into a jar and let it cool to room temperature. By then it will thicken and have a perfect consistency for decorating the cake. Keep the caramel sauce refrigerated for up to a month where it will get very thick as it cools. To get it to a runny consistency again, just bring it to room temperature over the counter or you can reheat it in a microwave or over a water bath. To make the cake, we'll need all-purpose flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, ground cinnamon and pumpkin spice seasoning. We also need unsweetened apple sauce, water, vegetable oil, eggs and caramel sauce. All the ingredients need to be at room temperature and as usual the exact amount of the ingredients can be found below this video. In a large mixing bowl combine all the dry ingredients besides the sugar and give it a stir. In a stand mixer bowl, combine the eggs, sugar, and whisk it until it's light and fluffy. Add the apple sauce, vegetable oil, water, caramel sauce and whisk until combined. Next add all the dry ingredients at once and keep mixing until all are combined well. Scrape off the sides of the mixing bowl and pour the cake batter into a prepared baking pan. I use the silicone bundt cake mold, but you can use a regular bundt cake pan, two 8-inch round layer pans, or 13 by 9 by 2 inch baking pan greased and floured. Bake the cake at 350 degrees for 65 to 70 minutes. Layers for 50 to 55 minutes or until wooden peak inserted in the center comes out clean. Let it cool for a few minutes, cover with a serving plate and flip the cake. Take off the mold and let it cool completely. 
You can dust the cake with powdered sugar or drizzle the caramel sauce on top. You can also garnish the cake with chopped walnuts or pecans. I really hope that my video is useful to you and inspires you to make an applesauce cake with homemade caramel sauce. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.